it's one Poncha here playing Card Hunter. So our three intrepid heroes are facing off against some goons, and uh, yeah, it's a strategic RPG with deck building elements. I think that's, I guess that's the <laughs> that's the genre. And I've played about an hour, and I absolutely love it so far. Mainly the art style. Um, I played a lot of D and D, uh, and the art style of the card cutout uh, enemies uh, really, um, yeah, it really brings back a lot of memories for me. So. Um, yeah, so you can see I've got my own individual decks, so each character that we have has his own deck, and it's got a really interesting way that you build the deck in that every item you equip has uh, has its own cards attached to it, and so if you have, um, like for example, this guy's got, he's got some sort of knife thing, and that gives him penetrating cuts, but also he's got a spear which gives him stabbing as well, so it's uh, it's very interesting how, it all, how it's all built. So I'm going to face off against these guys. And uh, I'm going to start off, I'm going to pass my first turn, because they're out of range of all my attacks. And, uh, well, in fact, they're not, so I might as well shoot them. So my wizard is going to shoot this guy. Yeah. So he's taking two damage. Okay, so he's now a little bit closer. But I don't want to shoot him just yet. I'm going to move my wizard round to the side. There you go. And he's walking here. Okay, he's walked him right up into the wizard's face. He's up in my grill. So I'm going to. I think he's used up all his movement now. So I have a card which lets me uh, make the target square become lava terrain. So at the start of the turn, they take eight damage, and it lasts for two turns. So I'm going to cast that on the square he's on, and hopefully he's not going to be able to move away from that. So he's got a card active on him. I really like the fact that if they've got cards active on them, you can highlight over the card and it will show you. And it's, it's really really well laid out, and I, I think it's uh, very well done. Uh, it's an indie game. The only uh, downside I would say on the game so far that I've found is that sometimes it can take a little bit of a while to log in uh, because they've got a lot of, um, you know, I don't know if they've got enough servers running on that, but obviously it's an indie game, so it doesn't quite have the budget behind it. Ow, that guy just smacked me quite hard. Uh, okay, I'm gonna spray him. Okay, he's what's happening there is he's got armor that's, uh, that's blocking part of the attack. Oh god! And they've just shot me, and they've set me on fire. Annoyingly. Um, right, I'm gonna try and stab him again. Good times. Oh damn it! He had a movement card. Oh, I wasted. I wasted that. Um, okay, so I can only move away, but I don't really need to at the moment. And I've got my priest has got draining touch, which he can use to heal himself. I'm going to use it on those because I don't like those things. And they've moved this guy around. Okay, well they're they're kind of enveloping me at the moment, and I'm not a big fan of that. But I can't really do anything about it. Um, this bad medicine it heals me too, but it also poisons me too. So it's uh, it's a little bit of a risky one, but I'm going to use it anyway just because I might as well. Okay, they've shot me, and our armor's failed. Oh, and they've also shot him. Okay, so they've set themselves on fire as well, which is nice. I'm going to have to pass now, because I haven't got anything else. Right, I love that icon. Love that graphic. Okay, so at the start of the turn, everyone who's on fire is taking damage. He's also taking damage. Okay, so start of round two. So we've got a few more cards, and oh, we've got Violent Swing. That's one of my favourites. So the... <laughs> I pressed that too quickly to be able to come on fail. So yeah, so he has to roll higher than five in order for his armor to work. One of them worked. My armor failed. One of my arm oh, one of his armors worked. Okay, so to explain with, with the um, blocking, that happens automatically. So if you've got this card, I will automatically try and block something if they attack me, and I'll make the roll. And if I make the roll, then I use the card, unless it's armor, in which case it stays with me until it's discarded, or until I discard it. So it's uh, it's always handy to have armor around, um, because you get to keep it. So I'm going to attack him, because he's big. God damn it. So his armor... Oh my god. Oh, he just killed my wizard. Ouch. Okay, I should probably... I don't really have anything else that I can do. I'm going to run away from this guy. So I don't really have much that I can... Okay, they're following me. I'm uh, not sure whether they've got any attacks, so I'm going to try and move my dwarf back a bit so that he's not starting the turn completely surrounded. 
Okay, he's passed, I'm going to have to pass. So I haven't managed to put any of them down. Now, with the cards, you can only have two in your hand at the start, uh, at the end of a round. So I'm going to discard one of my cards. And when you draw them, you draw three cards, one of which will always be a movement card, and the other two will be random. Okay, so I'm taking a lot of damage here, but my armor's kicked in. Okay, um, two armor fails there. Okay, he's taking a bit of damage. He's moving up. Right. So I, I really need to put one of them down here. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for go for this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you. Okay, so I wasn't quite sure what would happen then. Right, he's moved away. That guy's got a lot of armor, so he's got two sets of armor. So he's really not been taking damage from anything that I've uh, that I've thrown it because I've thrown quite a bit his way. I'm going to move up and hope he doesn't have another arm, uh, movement card. It looks like he doesn't because he just passed. So hopefully I should be able to single this guy. Oh no, he's just moved up now. Right, I don't have any more attacks, so I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal my warrior because he's my main damage outputter. Ow, okay, it's lucky I healed him. And I'm going to move my priest a bit further away as it's a bit tough in there at the moment and I haven't still haven't put a single one of them down oh dear god I think that's his uber move okay he's managed I've managed to block it so I'm gonna pass and hope they pass as well so now it'll be our turn after we draw cards so he's managed to block some damage I've taken damage okay well, I don't know if can I put even put this guy down I haven't really drawn many attack cards. I normally would draw a lot more. Um, okay, I need to get him out of there. Or well, maybe away from that big, big old scary golem. And <laughs> let's move a bit further. I need to keep him on their toes. Okay, so I'm a little bit, little bit hurt at the moment. Uh, I'm going to move him around here. Oh god, they're using magic. They've set me on fire again. I don't have anything else I can do. I'm going to have to pass. Okay, this is quite a tough fight. I have to discard two cards. I'm going to discard the movement card and one of these frenzies because I've got two. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to win this one. Mainly because I'm on fire. <laughs> Which is never a great great start to a round. Okay, but, and I know he's also got two armor still. So I might as well use the dwarf's card because I don't know how long he's going to be around. Okay. Well, let's move him out of the fight again, and hopefully they might not... They, I know that they'll be able to follow, but they might not be able to do much about it. Okay, so they've uh, moved their golem up into uh, into attack range, so I'm going to have to give it a go. hope that their armor fails, or at least one of them does. Okay, one of his armors failed. Okay, two of them. You take one damage from that. My armor fails. Right, he's got three sets of armor, but he shouldn't have any more attacks now. Okay, come on, come on, all three fail. Yes. So he's, oh, he's very nearly dead. But I've got my other guy is also very nearly dead. Um, so I'm going to move him around, just so that my party is less split than before. And I know that the dwarf ornithopter might have something else, but no, he's passed. Uh, I'm going to play Righteous Fury on Frenzy on him just so that I've got um, more chance of getting an attack card because that's really what I need. So I'm passing now. Okay, I'm still alive. He's got Clumsy and he's walked. Okay, so I think he needs to walk to turn around. So uh, I'm going to have to go. So it's Predictable Stab. If this attack is blocked, you take three piercing damage. I'm going to have to go with it. Okay, it's got through one of the armors. Got through two armor. Oh, good. Good times. That guy's dead. Okay. Whew. <laughs> That's a bit close. Right, I'm going to move... Oh, no, that thing's got a flame strike, so I really don't want to move him up. Okay, I want to stab him. Yeah, so as I said, uh, damage is the left number and range is the second. So I can't remember what I said. Because I actually, um, actually recorded uh, myself going through all the rules on this uh, 
before I played uh, this time, but annoyingly um, my next door neighbour started using a power saw really loudly about 15 minutes in, so it didn't it didn't translate very well. Okay, they've stabbed me. Um, God, this is going to be... I'm going to move my dwarf around so that I'm flanking him, so at the very least I... Uh, I can at least one of my guys should be able to survive and hopefully kill him. Okay, he passed straight away. That's that's good. And now, oh, excellent. Okay, so I managed to kill him. That's the end of the battle. This amazing unicorn comes up uh, to show our success. Um, right, that guy is obviously uh, that guy isn't. So there's characters in the actual game, um, and uh, so one of them is the DM, and this guy is the DM's older brother who just says nasty things uh, to you and belittles you. Um, but look at this awesome art style. It's brilliant. Uh, okay, so going to collect loot. So one of my characters leveled up, so he's level three. Leveling up gives you access to different items that you can equip. I'm going to go into this a little more once it's, uh, once it's finished leveling up. Oh yeah, all three leveled up. Brilliant, so they got a bit hardier and uh, new items. So at the end of every adventure you get, uh, or at the end of every battle, you get a chest that you can open. There's also a club reward in which you have to be a member of their club, which I'll also explain in a moment. So I've found an uncommon... Okay, well the club reward was a rare, which was a level 3 rare arcane item. So let's have a look at that. Fire spray, cone burning, burning two, duration two. Wow. <laughs> the difference between you and I is that I am not on fire. That is excellent. Okay, so these are the things I've found in the actual chest, and I get to keep those. Okay, so there's a few interesting things here. Uh, Adept's healing mail. Wow, that looks good. Oh, I know I can equip that now. Excellent. So um, I'll take all and finish, and then show you the actual world map. So here it is, and you can see it expands quite a far long way. So um, to go through their membership system, so this is the Card Hunter Club. It's a, it's a membership system, a buy-in, so 300 pizza slices, which is the in-game paid-for currency, which you use. And um, so 300 pizza slices is around about just under $10. Um, so with the other options, so there's all these other options, and a yearly membership would be $75. Um, personally, I think some of the prices are a little high, but then I tend to find that with uh, some anyway. Um, I'm likely to get, you know, I tend to um, base it on how much I'm enjoying the game and how long I'm playing it for, um, is how much I'll expend on it. And um, because the game's free, I'm, I think I'm likely to get the basic edition eventually. Um, but I just really want to see what, how it plays like. So what you actually get for that is all 11 treasure hunt adventures, one, clump, one month club membership, nine extra figures, which is what your characters look like, so I'm just using the basic figures alone, and 100 free pizza slices. So what you can also spend the pizza slices on, or the uh, purchase currency, is uh, chests. So 150 is two epic chests, no sorry, is one epic chest. So two epic or better items level 1 to 18, five random items, one rare or better is 30, so you can get 11 of those for $10, or two of those for $10. And um, also you can use an in-game currency which you can earn from selling equipment and items, you can get a simple chest which is a, a level 1 to 8 item. So you can actually buy those using in-game currency. So these are all the items that I've got on hand that I can sell to the shop in order to earn a bit of currency. But to show you how the equipment works, so here I have my club, and, or rather here's my deck, and uh, so these are all the cards that my dwarf has access to. But if I look at the Cobalt Killer, you can see these are the cards that it gives me. So it gives me one violent overswing which is epic, so 10 damage. Um, with one range and uh, then it scales all the way down and so he also gets goblin uh, golem cleaver and his shield which gives him a few blocks his boots which give him a couple of runs wow one of one of which is movement eight wow <laughs> he fights and runs away had better run pretty fast i like some of the flavor text on it now, there's also armor but i don't have any armor at the moment so i've just got cloth armor coming up so um Oh, can I equip that? Yes, I can. Excellent. So now I've got more armor, so I've got solid mail. So now I'm going to be pretty tough to kill, which is nice. Um, yeah, so he's also level up. Do I have any arcane skills? No, I don't. But I could buy one from the shop. 
So, oh, at the moment I get, so if you don't have an item, you get a few basic things instead. Um, but obviously, they, so it's interesting when you're swapping things around and trying to build uh, different decks and everything. So you have, as well as the chest shop, you have a tavern where you can buy new heroes and or swap them out because you get a choice when you're so with when you're picking the heroes, you can pick a human, dwarf, or elf variant which have different abilities and different skill sets later on. Um, I personally went with dwarf warrior, human wizard, and elf uh, priest. So here we have the shop where you can buy all the different items and also sell the items that you don't need. So I'm going to see if they've got any arcane skills. They do, but they're all for 75 gold. It looks like a, the best one. Well, that does look quite good. Um, and I haven't yet sold a lot of items that I can't use. So I'm just going to have a look through and show you some of the other items so you can see what kind of, what kind of things you can get. Okay, so this is level 12 epic boots. Wow. I can't equip them yet. Um, because in order to equip them, if you, as you can see, there's a, uh, next to the name of Lums Mokazins, there's a there's an icon. So in order to be able to do that, I need to actually get a power slot. I think they're called. Um, I haven't yet got one of those. I think they're every like five levels. I'd imagine you get those or something like that. Um, but they said that's through leveling up. So the other thing here is a blazing stone, which is fire spray, a cone burning two, which at the moment I don't really want. So I'm going to sell that. And get a bit of gold back. Okay, we've got a blocking axe, which is clumsy chops and a lot of flimsy blocks. I'm not going to bother with that. Then we've got a broken charm. Uh, I don't like the heal on that. We have a crude healing charm, which is three minor heals, which I'm going to get rid of. We also have some things which are just treasures. So you can't actually do anything with them, so you might as well sell them. And then we have shoddy persistent mail, which is uncommon divine armor. Um, but I quite like the one I've got at the moment. So, Perplexing Mirror, level 1 common arcane item. Okay, well I've currently got a level 3 rare arcane item, which gives me good skills, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. Iron Shield. Okay, and that's another one I need a power token for. Goblin High Boots, so I don't know if the colours symbolise something, I'm sure they do. Uh, Glimmer Boots, I hate those because they've got an ability which is actually a detriment. So that's squeamish, so you can't actually kill anyone as that character. So despite them being level 6 common boots, I'm actually going to sell those. That's another one you need a power thing for. Beginner's Staff, I'm going to sell, because that's something I started off with. And uh, Staff of... Oh, Staff of Flames. That does look... Oh, no, I didn't like that. Yeah, because Ember Spray can hurt your own people. Bacon, let's sell it. Violent Staff. So, uh, hard to block. What does hard to block do? Subtract two when rolling to block this card. Wow, that's pretty good. And it's got three damage. Okay, Penetrating Zaps. That's good. Penetrating... Ignores armor when applying damage unless that armor prevents all damage. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty good. I quite like that staff. So I'm gonna swap that in and now I've got this relentless staff um, which I can sell. So I'm going to do that. Uh, sell that, I've already got one of those. Okay, so um yeah with the items you've also got um a rare shop. So the items restock daily in the normal shop and weekly in the rare shop. So these have epic items that I can't yet afford. Um, also the same with the dungeons. So as I've completed these dungeons, I can't replay those um, because I've already played through them today. So you also have your own home where you can access your collection of many things. So um, these are all the different different things that you can collect. And I'm not quite sure. I'll go and search them by different things. Um, yeah, so this is where you can go through effectively what's your inventory. Um, so yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, I'm probably going to carry on playing it and um, I'm more than happy to do a let's play of it. So um, yeah, I thought this was uh, this one I'd just show you what the game's like and what it's about. And uh, in the next episode, uh, I'm just gonna crack on and I'm gonna really jump into the game in character all the way, balls out, well not balls out. I might have one balls out, you couldn't really tell. So I'm not gonna put the, web <laughs> the webcam on for it, um, but I assure you I will be clothed um, at all times. And yeah, so I'm gonna dive into that um, but I really thought I might as well do a first episode where I kind of explain what the game's like and so that you can try it out and see if you'd like it. Uh, I really recommend it. It's a lot of fun so far. Thanks very much for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense that I tried to do a weird voice then. Like if you like, subscribe if you like. More thanks. Bye. Cheers.